welcome back to Linda's Pantry. So today I'm going to do a beautiful ham and I'm doing it a little bit differently than I've done before. I'm going to do it in my crock pot. Um, I'm going to make a beautiful orange and mustard glaze for this. You know, you'll have to wait and see what I'm going to put in that. And um, I hope this inspires you to stay with me for this. Um, it's really going to be delicious. And how easy is it to put it in the crock pot and set it and forget it? You're done. So if it does inspire you to stay, go ahead and maybe somewhere along the way, hit that like button, go share it on your Facebook page if you really like it. Go out down in the description box and check out my Facebook page. Um, join in on that conversation and maybe check out my Wild Tree website where you can find all natural, all organic products um, and or search for recipe ideas. Okay guys, let's go make this beautiful ham in the crock pot. It'll be done in a couple of hours and no muss, no fuss. I can go on with my day. All right. All right. So I'm glad you stayed because this is really going to be a fun recipe and how easy is it to put it in your crock pot. Go spend time with your family and get some other things done while your stuff is all cooking. So these crock pots are pretty phenomenal. I haven't had one in years and now I'm just using it all the time. So I have a six and a half pound butt portion ham. Um, I like to use this because you're not getting, you're not paying for all that fat and connective tissue that you pay for on a shank. Although I like the shanks for, um, if you were going to do uh, like a ham and bean soup or something, uh, all that is good. So I'm just going to score this and I just come across the fattier section. I really don't want to cut in to the meat so much. And this just opens that fat cap up so it can melt down into the meat itself. And, and it makes a pretty presentation. There's not a lot of fat on the other side. So now I'm just gonna come this way. And you're going in maybe inch squares, about a quarter of an inch in there. It really is up to you. And that's what we do. Okay, so now what I've got let me rinse my hands really quick. Now what I have are some whole cloves and I'm going to go ahead and do that. On the past recipes, you can look up my other ham recipes, I have not put uh, the cloves in there, but I'm going to do it this time because of my glaze. I think it's going to go hand in hand. It's going to be absolutely delicious and it's kind of a cold blustery day. so. I'm gonna put some cloves out on that paper towel and they smell so amazing. And you're just gonna stud that in your cross hatch marks there. Um, and that's gonna help perfume the meat and the sauce and everything that we've got going here. And I've done ham about every way you can possibly cook it. I've smoked it on the smoker, so it's been double smoked. I've, and these are all videos that I have, um, I've cooked it in an oven bag in the oven um, and now I'm doing it in the crock pot and I just, I, I'm finding so many different uses for the crock pots that uh, it's really been fun. It's kind of been a fun adventure. So again, you're just going to stud this and we can get it right in the pot. And if I knew how to fast forward, I would fast forward you through this. But I don't really know how to do that. If anybody knows, let me know. Because that's kind of fun. I know uh, a couple of people that do that when the video kind of gets boring. So, this doesn't have to be perfect. I think that's good. Um, I'm just going to stud this one side. I'm not going to do the whole ham. So, I, And I'm telling you, cloves are very, very strong. That's plenty. Um, you could, if you didn't have cloves like this, whole cloves, you could use ground clove in your sauce, which we're going to do next. So what I'm going to do is in the crock pot, which I've already got preheating, I'm going to put a cup of orange juice and a cup, well, or an eight ounce, 
container a cup of pineapple juice. So shake your pineapple juice up a little bit and go ahead and pour that right down in there. And that's so your ham stays nice and moist. I'm gonna put that the face side down so it's gonna be sitting in there like this. Hopefully this will fit. Um, six and a half pounds. And then it's gonna create its own little steam bath in here. And then I'm gonna glaze it in the crock pot and I'll bring you in for a close up so you can see that. Boy, how beautiful is that gonna be? And this looks like it might not fit. So we're gonna have to modify its shape a little bit. So I'll bring you back. I'm gonna cut off some of that on one side and put that in there a different way. Okay, right so there. I had to cut off a pretty good little slice off the one side because the bone was on the other side to fit it down in there. But it's now it's nestled down in there nice and tight. And this is good to know that a six and a half pound uh, ham is about all I can fit in this five quart crock pot. So that's a good rule of thumb. Um, maybe next time I'll do a little smaller. But what I've got here is some orange marmalade that I got at Trader Joe's. And this is just delicious. So um, I'm gonna put orange marmalade down in here for my glaze. And you can heat this up and that's probably what I'm gonna do if I can't get it where it's gonna glaze for me nicely. So I'm putting about, uh, this is 17.5 ounces and I'm putting about half of it. So maybe a little bit more. We'll say eight ounces, nine ounces is going in here. And then I've got this uh, Jack Daniels horseradish mustard that, that's a whole grain mustard. And it's got about half the container left and it was a nine ounce container so maybe Three or four ounces of that is going in here. And the horseradish, along with that marmalade, oh my goodness, it is delicious. So now we're just gonna get this all incorporated together. How easy is that? And it's perfect for a glaze. Now you could add spices in here if you wanted to. Um, you could do whatever you want. And what I think I'm gonna do mm, is after I taste it, I need a little bitty taste, see where I'm at. Okay. Wow. Okay, so you can taste the horseradish, the whole grain mustard, and the sweetness from that orange marmalade. Kind of tart. But I think I want some spice. I think I need something that kick it up a notch. So we're gonna kick it up with some cayenne and some red pepper flakes. Don't need much, but we love spice with ham. <clears throat> so a little bit of cayenne in here. Not much, maybe an eighth of a teaspoon. If you don't like things spicy, please leave that out. And then I'll give that another taste. Perfect. Okay, I really like that. And then the clove, it's just gonna be fabulous. Okay, now we'll get a spoon here and spoon that down over that ham, but I'm gonna bring you in for a close up so you can really see what we've got going in that ham. Look how pretty that is. Sorry about that. There we go. So you got that ham nestled down in there in that juice. And now we're gonna put some of this glaze over top. And every once in a while, I'm not gonna put the whole thing because I'm gonna come back in here, even though it's a no-no to open the crock pot. After it's been in here for, and I know it's up to heat, I'm gonna come back in and re-glaze. And just use up my glaze slowly. And this won't be used for, I'm not gonna use this glaze for anything else but this. I'll end up using all of it, so. And there we go. You could make it extra and use it for um, dipping if you wanted to, but 
there it is. And so I'm gonna put the lid on and it's gonna just go for a couple of hours. Yeah, really you're just heating ham through. I've got it on high to get it up to speed and then I'll turn it back down on low. All right guys, I'll be back as soon as we have something to show you. All right guys, so now I've got, this has been in the crock pot for about an hour and a half actually. And I'm gonna open the lid. I'm gonna go ahead and glaze it one more time. I will tell you, because I don't want you to think that it's going to come out different if you do it my way. I would reduce the liquid by half a cup of each. So a half a cup of pineapple and a half a cup of orange juice. Pineapple juice and orange juice, half a cup instead of one cup each. You don't need that much liquid. This ham is going to render down its own juices. And so I really um feel like that was plenty and then you've got this all coming down into the sauce as well so you only need that much and honestly and truly this is moments away from being done but i want that glaze to go ahead and get all delicious and yummy again and kind of caramelize on the outside a little bit so i've still got it on high this bigger crock pot takes, it takes a little bit longer because it's bigger space, I guess. So um, we're going to go ahead and let this go. And I'll be back in about, mm, I don't know, 45 minutes. And we're going to serve you up some delicious ham. All right, guys. So our ham has been in here for two and a half hours. I want to make sure that we get this on. That's plenty of time. You really only need to reach an internal temperature of 160 degrees. So that being said, we've got this beautiful ham that's ready to come out. <laughs> I have to tell you, there's a lot of sauce in here, which is good. Um, we'll have plenty. I'm gonna get two forks. You could get a roast lifter, you know, where we've got two prongs, but I think these two forks will lift this out just fine. And how beautiful is that? We've got the gorgeous cloves over here. It's all studded with cloves. And we've got this beautiful broth down in the bottom of the crock pot. And really and truly, I couldn't tell you how it could smell any better. The clove and the orange and oh, just delicious. So we're gonna let this rest a little bit. We'll cut off some slices. I'll show you our serving platter and you can be the judge because in my opinion, this looks and smells amazing. Oh, wow, let's take a picture. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this beautiful ham sliced up for you. And I'm gonna probably use a, a different knife here. I just want you to see how easy. I mean, this is just tender and juicy. And look at that. Oh my gosh. It smells phenomenal. You can't even, oh, you could not go and buy that smell anywhere. So let's get this on a plate and we will commence to eating dinner. Mmm. -hmm delicious. All right, so I've carved off some of this ham and I would just want to make sure that you see that I'm going to put some of this broth that's in the bottom of that crock pot or stock, whatever you might want to call it. That is going to go down right over the top of that delicious ham. Oh, how delicious does that look? Okay. So now we're going to go in for a close up and I've got some after pictures in the trailer behind this video so you can go watch some of that, how good this looked. How good does that look? Asparagus, a uh, potato gratin and that ham. And this is in a slow cooker. Who does that? Okay, let's grab a fork and a knife and we're going to taste just one little, well that's a spoon. We're gonna taste one little bit of that ham for you. And I'm gonna cut this right-handed. Mmm, <laughs> so juicy. 
How's that? Mm. Okay. Mm. Wow, absolutely fabulous. The it is so juicy and having that pineapple juice and the marmalade and all the components to this coming into play, it just really made for a delicious ham. So I hope you try this. I hope it inspires you to maybe try it in the crock pot next time because I, who'd have thunk? I'd have never thought that this would be possible, but did it and it's delicious and I'll do it again. All right, guys, as always, I hope I see you next time. And, oh, I got lots of delicious recipes coming up. And I'm going to show you how I do that gratin in the next video. All right, stay tuned. God bless.